unclaimed land. They, they took 78%. No and, and Israel is entitled to take whatever land for defensive needs it can. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Are you a lawyer? I'm not a lawyer. Okay, well, I didn't think so. I didn't law. think so because that's not international oh, okay. law. That's well, just. Okay, let's focus on the plight that's of That's just what you yes, want. You know. seems that's, what, that's what stirs your emotions, right? Palestinian suffering? I I'm about concerned about the genocide. Are you concerned about the genocide in I'm, Gaza? I'm concerned about the fake people genocide. People are starving to death. Jewish people and we keep Palestinians locked up in this prison that they live in, right? Because the war against Israel keeps Palestinians locked up, right? They can't reach their full potential. So why aren't they left are, back? You know, are, are there not two societies that live there? There's a Jewish society. Oh yeah, they live together. You know, like in oh in peace in, in Haifa, uh, Raqqa, uh, Akra, and Jerusalem. You know, Palestinians and Israelis live together in peace. Under Muslim they don't rule, kill each Jews other there. Inferior status. And they can that. do that everywhere. No, Jews lived in inferior status for centuries under Muslim rule. It doesn't indict every. Yes, Arab. but we weren't massacred like oh, in so Europe. As long as we weren't massacred, then no. it's like that Jews lived a good life. Right? But the Muslims. problem is, it wasn't the Arabs, you know, who carried out the genocide of the Jewish people, right? It, it was well, the Christians. Okay, it was also the Arabs. So no. Yes, it was. We're not talking no. about Europe. We're talking about is the Middle no. East, right? The, the, the Muslims, you know, gave sanctuary, Since you know, the to early Jewish 1920s, people. Even in Paris, the mosque gave, look, you know, you identification papers. You seem to know a lot about Palestinian history, right? You know, they have their own political leaders, their own policies, they're not just sitting passively. They have agency, right? So their political leaders have waged genocide for the last 100, let's say 103 years, right? 1920, you know what happened in 1920? Genocide? Yes. Not very successful. You're talking about genocide of the Jewish people? Uh, uh, 100%. Just because the Arabs haven't been super successful well, if you want to make up stories, it. you know, go... You know, like, tell me about the horror stories of October the 7th. Make up some stories there as well. I don't because know. Because there, there is no there. verification the of, of, the, of the accusation of mass rapes. As you know, history didn't start There October were 7th, no right? mass rapes. Yeah. I'm not That's just an October, excuse to support October genocide. 7th. I'm not talking about October 7th. It's because, about 48. Because it's, it, it, it fits in with the biblical story of Diana being raped and, and her brothers, you know, going massacring want, the whole I village of Shrem. You, you don't want to let person. me talk? No, I don't, because it's not... You're not because not, you don't want to let people hear what I have to say. I know, player. you're trying to censor me, right? Well, you don't want people you? to hear what I have to say, I'm, right? I'm a well, bystander. You came in front of the Museum of Holocaust. You yeah. have to give the, the Yes, but why doesn't he let me speak then? I'll answer anything. You know? Well, just, but this is a genocide. And even the International Court of Justice calls it a plausible genocide. That's plausible means likely. Why? Why? Yes, there's a genocide. Why genocide? Because my family was genocided and I will not accept that anybody else will be genocided. We will genocide. They deserve it. They're they animals. deserve it? You're in favor of genocide? You see? He's in favor of genocide. Can you tell me a little, a little bit about my robot news? I've seen Hi. Hi. Uh, so we are here today. It's a conservative uh, uh, outlet, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just, I'm here to gather all the people are feeling after the, the six months of terror attack that killed like 1,200 people. Yeah. And uh, there's st still 130 hostages being still on the yeah. So how are you feel today? I feel terrible that we have to um, leave security at Jewish institutions to commemorate a massacre of Jews 6,000 miles away. Um, I think um, everyone, every moral person should be supporting Israel right now. Um, anyone who cares about human rights is supporting Israel. Um, and I just I pray that hostages um, I pray that Hamas is defeated and the war against Israel is defeated. Um, but uh, it's, it's a struggle because there's a lot of information out there. In my heart's with the Jewish community. I'm Jewish and I, I support our people. Um, I support the truth, bottom line. I mean, truth above everything. And if that's, you know, look, if we have to share news that's not always, uh, doesn't make ourselves look good, then whatever. That's the Jewish way. It's to be open about it. Question, yeah. What would you, what would be your message to the people who are protesting for Hamas and for Palestine in the streets and calling for intifada? Uh, what would you say to them? I would say they need to choose people. No genocide in Gaza allowed. Although they don't realize it, we're deciding with religious ideology over people's lives. And like I was saying to this uh, person, um, that Palestinians have suffered under the rule of this war against the Jews. A lot of them don't even realize it. I think that's the tragedy of this. Day to day, there's like people who are actually suffering. So they fall to their own. Like not everyone has Hamas there, but there are people who support Hamas there because that's what they were brought up to do. And these are human beings, right? Like, and I think we don't have to remind the Jewish community that they're human beings. We all know that Arabs and Palestinians are human too. We just wish that they would show the same humanity to us. And I think that there's a bit of a um, division there, right? There's, it's not the same. So, same.
So what's your name? Oh, yeah, no, thank you. Um, it's not a you guys, is that okay? It's going on, yeah, I'm going to show my friends that there was an interesting uh, exchange here. Um, but it's incorrect to say there's still 132 hostages. There's 32, 33 now who are dead because of bombing. They're no longer there. Right, They're dead. Well, yeah, but by Israel. This meant that by Israel. there were 300 and something soldiers. That doesn't count in the Kozak because they were soldiers. Well, but in the same time, it's, at the end of the day, they are human beings. Yes. Same if they are soldiers or not. Yes. So, hey, I'm opposed to that. I want to have peace. Yeah, you're right. I mean, even Hamas attacked against Israeli soldiers is illegal under, under international law. No, it's legal. It is, no. There's no resi okay. Where, there are resist an occupied people. The, okay, that's outside of General Assembly resolution, which is not international law. There's nothing in international law that says you have the right to resist occupation with with the armed struggle. Effect. Yeah, it says armed struggle. Doesn't define it. It should define There's it better. There's a toilet paper resolution or whatever. You don't know international law. The point is. Um, yeah, yes, I've read it. Okay. But um, you, you you were not capable to say that you are condemning what happened on October 7th. You didn't tell me. Oh, I asked you. It can't you, be condemned because it's a legal right. Why cannot be condemned? Why? Because they're an occupied people. They're under under occupation. Why can't they negotiate and the end of the occupation? They're they're being killed, starved, and uh, what, how do you define the occupation? And uh, and uh, cleansed, you know, from their own villages that they were living in before before 1948. In 48, those villages all around, you know, the Banda of Gaza that were occupied on October the 7th, those were Palestinian villages right. before. So because of that, that justified to kill about 1,200 people, slaughter them, going there, burning their house, burning them, that is justified because of what happened in the past. Do you think that this is why we should justified. not Justified, I wouldn't use the word justify, no. But legal, yes. And, and, it's, and it's also illegal for Israel to have bombed Gaza in 2014, 2000. But that isn't the past. Everything Seven, Israel does is illegal. 2002, to you, right? you know, like they've been bombed. You know, like uh, th uh, three, four campaigns already. You know, which their people have been killed. So whether it's, and then during the Great March of Return four years ago, peaceful p demonstrators were well, coming to the frontier, you know, no, and 323 you know were shot down, no. civilians, unarmed. This is the provocation that you know has created the great return this offensive. March, right, it was time to like coincide with the op opening of the embassy in Jerusalem, and they want Hamas wanted to steal the headlines, right? So they basically had regular civilians picnicking near the fence with Israel, and then they had a ring of actual Hamas terrorists look to infiltrate the fence, knowing half of them would get shot by Israeli snipers anyway. But the point is, you saw pictures of Israeli soldiers camped out near the fence, shooting at the actual infiltrators looking to break into Israel to do an October 7th day. This is five. This is six years ago, right? And so the media reported. Israel Israel's not, you know, Israeli soldiers killing civilians, right? And no, it was civilians who provided the buffer. And this is also, this is the Palestinian cause. It uses civilians to justify their genocidal intent against Israel. Hamas and, didn't even support that demonstration. <laughs> it was the people themselves. Right, Hamas was Then they jumped into it afterwards, Everything you know, that happens in Gaza, people... Hamas has to approve. I mean, come on, can you be that naive? Someone also who thinks Israel has no right to exist is not in a position to judge Israel's actions. You don't know what's going on. There are seven resistance groups, not I just don't, one. Don't thank you. All right, thank you. Yeah, there's no real dialogue here. No, okay. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. No genocide in Gaza allowed. Not in our name. No genocide in Gaza allowed, not in our name. No genocide in Gaza allowed, not in our name. Yeah. Right. No genocide in Gaza allowed, not in our name. Nishtof in No genocide allowed in Gaza, not in our name. <laughs> 